Good morning, Internet. How are y'all doing today? Had a couple people ask me some questions such as, uh, what are you taking in school? Well, I'm taking computer literacy. The end game is to build mind-blowing video games, hopefully for Microsoft. If not, you know, PlayStation, Wii, whatever. A lot of people ask me, well, where do you go to school? This is where I go to school. North Seattle Community College. Oh, look, there's my buddy Darren. I guess I should have asked him if he wanted to be in my show. You want to be in the show, Darren? Yeah. <laughs> This is for the wonderful people of YouTube. Uh, this morning, I have some disheartening things to talk about. Uh, since I started my show, it's been called A Day in the Life of a Player. Uh, not to get the pronunciation of player wrong, it's not about playing women, having sex with multiple women, and lying and being a general scumbag type of dude. The word player in the end of my title, A Day in the Life of a Player, was all about video games, as in player one, player two. Well, I noticed that Hulu now has a show entitled A Day in the Life. So I'm wondering when exactly are the producers of this show going to openly admit that they stole somebody else's creative process and changed the spelling of one word and dropped the uh, word at the end and they've paid me nothing for my creative process. Now, what would be the difference is me saying, well, you know, I love South Park so much, I'm going to create my own show, and I'm going to call it North Park, and I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what South Park does. Wouldn't somebody then come for me and say, hey, man, you stole my creative process, you owe me some money? So this is pretty much the question that later on today I'm going to ask Hulu. Why would you put this show on the air when you know for a fact someone else has this title and had this title for about four, maybe five years now? How do you feel about that? I'm quite upset to know that there's somebody else out there using my creative process and just not paying me for my creativity. If you have this type of problem, maybe you should stand up and say something as well. Uh, I'm going to end the video here because i got to go to classes after my cigarette and after I drink my coffee, which, by the way, don't buy coffee at North Seattle Community College. It absolutely blows. I even gave him an easy way. I just put some ice in it, make an iced coffee in it. Yeah, it still sucks. Uh, it's a caramel frappe. It's crappe. Doesn't taste like caramel, and the coffee tastes like it's been out for about three or four days now. It's really bitter, just nasty. I could have made better coffee at home. So anyway, gotta go to class. Feel free to ask me some questions, and I'll answer them later. Have a great day. Peace.